we're almost fusing and it's just about there and once it starts I've actually got to go and enable the refineries there we go we're fusing and look at all the water we're using so we're using that water really fast if you look here if you look at the tank it's going down steadily which is not good but now we are producing zero energy units per tick but uh, if we keep it consistently supplied with water and our pump oh shoot our pump drained out that's not good oh, okay it's not good at all let's uh let's actually give it a buffer let's do that so that it doesn't drain out that fast all the time shoot we need to give it water and very fast so let's get some source blocks oh boy and I'm actually going to no I'll keep it on so let's give it a bunch of source blocks really fast let's see if we can't do that and I'm gonna turn off those freaking uh, um, it's, an, it's bugging me too much. I gotta turn off the this. So if I can get there, we, nope. There we go. Oh man, this feels much better. So that's not good. We're out of water here. So we need to fill us in. There we go. And now we need to get our. Uh, we need to get our. What is it? The what's it called? Pipe valve pipe back so let's just get that really fast and connect this to water for lever back on so now we should never run out of water again and that's all good got so how's our power doing hopefully we have enough power coming in for our refineries I don't believe we do though no we don't Oh, great. So, let's see how much we're getting. Uh, no. We're not even getting close to 72. So that's not good. So I actually do have to enable this, unfortunately. Oh, boy. So hopefully in future versions, uh, there will actually be a way to disable that. Until then, all we got is this. So let's see how our uh, talk... What is it? The Tokamak, Tokamak is doing. It's still not producing energy, but it is fusing. So, it's interesting to note. Let me see if I replace this pipe. Nope. It actually does not require energy anymore. As you see, it won't go into the pipe. So, it takes a very long time to heat up. In fact, it's not heated up at all yet. But I think we might have gotten a steady supply of this. It closely goes up, it goes down, it goes up. Might be slightly short on uh, heavy water. We'll have to see. But you need uh, two golden pipes of water to keep this running consistently, unfortunately. So that's a bunch of water. Uh, but luckily, um, there's heavy water in here. So, that's good it's very good so I'm gonna let this heat up hopefully and I'll be right back okay hey guys so I think there's a bug in this version where it was actually producing zero energy units out when um but then what I did was I f put a lever next to it and I flipped it which put it into idle mode and I flipped it back and then the energy uh, actually started going out so and you see it's building up heat going faster and faster but uh yeah so i think that's actually a bug in this version i'll um i'm gonna go report it but it looks like the energy out is slowly going up and i actually added another refinery over here so now i have six total and i made 80 go into the pump and the refineries combined and it looks like that's the right amount i mean if we look here the water stays about the same. Goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. So I think that's about the right amount. Might need one more actually, which is really interesting.
So I actually just put one in right now. Why not? I mean, so let's go do that. And I'll be right back, and I'll show you guys the temperature on the Tokamak. Uh, Tokamak. Tokamak. So, yeah, I'll see you guys then. So I had another uh, refinery. If you look here, we're actually above the green line by one bar. So we're getting 32 energy units out. It's very nice. I uh, actually made all the power go into the... Uh, it looks like we got a loop going here. All the power is actually going into the refineries here. So looks like um, however much I have on here, it does not cut it. So if I look on here, 93 doesn't cut it. Let's see, about 104. Let me just break this off here. But yeah. So um, I have all the my, I have a bunch of power going in here from the tokamak and from here. I open this back up. Let me turn to this direction. There we go. So yeah, good amount of energy coming in, and that makes them green. So. A, it works, and I'm happy. If we look at the the heavy water level here, it goes up twice, and that goes down. So it looks like we are actually producing more heavy water than we can use, finally. So that's good. So it looks like, uh, I believe that's 7. It's the right number. Don't exactly know how much power it uses, but yeah. And if we look here, we got 50 energy units going out. So it's good progress. Uh, that's very good progress. We're actually almost full on this energy store here, so that's interesting to note. I'm going to actually add another energy store and see where we are temperature-wise in a second. Now we're finally racking up the power. If you look at this, got about 110, 115 energy going out. So all we need to do is give this energy to uh, give this energy to keep on refining um, to heavy water. And actually, I think um, I think it would probably you probably be better off just going without the refineries and just going with two water pumps with two sets of gold pipes going to here, and then you wouldn't need to use quite as much power. But as you can see, I'm using all of my power here, all the power I produce, all going into the refineries right now. But we're producing 136. Um, uh, and the good thing is, this heats up. When it heats up, it's good because it'll never blow up. If I didn't mention that before, producing about 150 energy units. So, if we open this up, this one's just about full. This one's kind of full. Let's make a uh, way to route it around. So there we go. And why don't we? Actually, I don't want to do that there. I'll do it here. So why don't we actually open this up? And say, uh, why not let out a hundred? Um, there we go. It did it? It's not draining, but this one's full, so awesome. If we actually, this is no, it's not. It's in draining mode. There we go. It's draining, but it actually has nowhere to go. So let's give it some work to do. Why not? Uh, let's have this produce some lava for us. And don't want that to explode. And then, uh, so let's have this produce lava and this produce minerals. And uh, let's just get out, get rid of the iron we got here. And let's see what this energy can actually be used for. So let's just keep on giving this a bunch of stone. Just keep working with. If you notice, it's going fairly fast. Not quite, in, it's not insanely fast, but. It's going decently fast. So let's just. Is this draining? I don't see it draining. Oh. Don't, oh, shoot. Don't want that to explode. Let's go here. So, is this draining now? Oh, whatever. Let's just do this. Let's just connect a lapis pipe to a golden pipe here and have it drain. So it should be draining. Don't actually see it going anywhere. So that's interesting. Let's just keep that like that. 
let's close off this. We got now we got 265 energy units going all the way to here. So now, um, if I were you, in the, what I would do is I would just try and get Tokamak running 100% all the time, and then um, what you probably want to do is you probably would want to just use that power to power all the quarries for it and everything though. I mean, not quarries, refineries. but uh, Or water pumps, in that case. But, if, as you can see, we got a bunch of power here. And now we're using it all to make some lava. And we're also using a slight bit to burn down that lava. So, these are pretty high-end machines here. So you can see see how much power we got going now we got almost 350 we got about 350 um more than halfway to 500 so if we look here got all this going and keep in mind like 300 these are high power machines 350 energy units that's uh, just to put it in like retrospect a quarry will use up uh about nine energy per tick so nine energy and we're producing 350 or almost 500 so imagine how many quarries you could run with that power um and everything like it's insane so this is almost done then uh let's see how this goes Oop. looks like we've produced something so let's keep this filled up looks like you this uses a lot more power than the lava machine does so actually why don't we do this let's uh make it day Oops, oh shoot, I looked at the rays. But there we go, now we're filling up with lava. So that's good. Put a bit more stone in here. And we already produce something. What did we produce? Well, iron. Iron has the highest chance out of all of them. 5% chance. That's very good, though, because industrial craft machines use iron. So then, look over here, stone's almost done. Making stone into lava. And also keep in mind, you could use the uh, grinder and make a bunch of stuff by now. And of course, the furnace. See how fast that goes. A stack of wood, 64 wood. It's pretty fast. Uh, it's oh, That's pretty fast. It's almost faster than industrial craft machines. So, we are finally full on lava. So let's open this up here and see what we get. So it's power is building up and it's using up the lava and we got some iron got a good amount of iron and that's all we got for it so bunch of stone only gets a little bit of iron but that's good though because it's that means it's balanced so always wanted to be balanced but you know for a bunch of lava we got three iron so four iron no diamonds or redstone or obsidian, but those are really small chances. Like, insanely. I think the chances are per lava bucket, so that just makes it even smaller. Feed some more stone into here. But, yep, uh, that's APS. Oh, one last thing I want to show you guys. Are we producing the full 500? Oh, look at that. We are, and we're actually building up power with our uh, our water our heavy water is actually building up so that's good that's very good so this is the full 500 here uh, we looks like we just got a little bit more iron so five iron not bad not bad at all one last thing I want to show you guys I'm gonna need a laser so let's get a laser and that is the recipes for all of these machines so let me put down uh, three lasers, why not? And what is this? Put piping next to them. And if I put an assembly table, if I find it, where is it? Table. There we go. We got ourselves an assembly table. So if we put this down right here, and inside it, here is how you craft everything in this mod, or most things. So they come in kits. If you look over here, you got the energy store kit, energy director, 
powered furnace, block grinder, blast furnace, mineral extractor, fusion generator, solar reflector, and solar collector. So if you look at this, energy store uses a bit of obsidian, iron, uh, director, uses up some gold and obsidian, powered furnace, it's probably the cheapest one in here, block grinder, and the uh, power cores are just produced like this, blast furnace, pretty expensive, mineral extractor, even more expensive. And the fusion generator, most expensive thing in here. Yeah, output module, just need some diamonds. And you also need control module, which needs a diamond power core. And then you also need a tokamak chamber, which needs diamond plated, um, tom tokamak plating, which needs three diamonds each. So, bunch of diamonds. Then you need the, how do I say that, the uh, do it deuterium extractor which needs refinery combustion engines bunch of stuff like that the thing is with this machine then you have like nearly infinite resources so fusion generator kit and then the solar reflector and keep in mind you need a thousand reflectors to have one as big as mine so bunch of iron bunch of iron and then the solar collector which you need to make only once per solar array so if I put these in the slots here I can uncrate the kits, and actually for the powered furnace, uh, you can uncrate it with a wrench, but you lose the wrench, so you lose a bit of iron there. And, yep, so I can put all these in here, and there's not even enough room for the solar reflector, but if I, I can target these, then the laser should turn on. We're getting a bunch of energy now, and so... With all of this energy that they're getting, that said, I only have three lasers. I could add more. I could add, uh, I could add five if I wanted to. Oh shoot, not there. But uh, I don't want to add that one. I'll add four, and it takes fairly long time with just four. But, I mean, it's actually actually pretty quick with four on max energy, but. You know, and look how much energy that's using. So, this has been, like, wow, it's using tons of energy. But actually, that's just because has nowhere else to go. But uh, that's been my spotlight on APS. So, really cool mod. It's more end game buildcraft stuff. Really like it. Hope you guys enjoyed the spotlight. And I don't think I really missed anything. So, I'll see you guys the next episode of Evolution Technology.